I haven't been doing great. I am the husband. That's perfect. That's perfect. I decided to do a husband reveal because my husband is such a big part of my life that it's kind of... So a husband reveal. I... I just... A husband reveal because there is one person that makes all of this possible and it's this person because this one can hold a job which i cannot so and boy is it hard tell us about your job well i clean cars uh i run a business that cleans cars it's interesting that's for sure but it keeps me busy i'm the one running the show we don't have that much staff so i'm working constantly unfortunately why 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 would you do that i'm not very old we're not very old we're kind of young especially we're married like legally married i have the marriage license and everything we went to colorado for it and everything we eloped it was great that was that was a fun experience that's for sure it was very fun the quick rundown is we knew each other for 14 years before we ever got together because we went to school for together for that long so we went to school together for 14 years we had a, finally a class together for the first time senior year of high school. We did not get together in high school. Instead, we remained friends and not close friends even. <laughs> and then I graduated early, so I didn't see anybody. And you weren't in school for the post part either, right? Nope. Uh, I was just off on my own. So we both kind of dropped out of school, kind of, sort of. Not actually. We both graduated. I, ha I I don't know where it is, but who knows where their diploma is. Probably should mention that my husband is super sick currently, but alive. So that's how we met, kind of. No, we didn't even talk about how we met. We're jumping around, so I'm going to have to do some major editing. <laughs> but back to how we met. 14 years together in high school. Became friends senior year for like one semester. Both of us were not in school, and then we met outside of school after we both had graduated at a Chinese restaurant. As it goes. Who doesn't love a good old Chinese restaurant? I mean, it's like the best Chinese restaurant in our hometown, though. Yep. It's yep. really, it's really good. The main purpose of the video is going to be how our marriage functions probably differently than it would in an apartment versus in a 27-foot travel trailer. It's a little small in here. It's a little small. How much square footage do you think we have to actually walk around? Like 20 to 30? <laughs> a little more than that? Because I, I, would, I wouldn't know anything about that. Not too terribly much. Not that much. We don't have a whole lot of space. I did a tour of the trailer and you can kind of see how little space we have. But we didn't have the slide out working in that video. So we have a tiny bit more space. Like 2 to 4 feet more. Yeah, I mean, it's nice that our walls extend. I it's feel really like, cool. I feel like that's a benefit apartments don't give you. Yeah, the cool uh, aspect of your walls move and your ho your house moves, so there's a plus. Someday we'll get on the road. Apparently I can't say it. <laughs> We're Bodily gonna... doubly. Bodling double. Body double. Yeah. Body doubling. Yeah, body doubling. <laughs> so yeah. I feel like that's the main key to why we function so well in such a close space. I like smaller spaces. I have adapted to liking the smaller space a lot, but I think that's more because everything is mine <laughs> and I have control over everything and I know everything. So it makes my brain be chill. I feel like all day long, all we do is body double. So we're always either doing something together, which isn't often because if we start watching a movie together, I'm going to start crocheting. It kind of happens. But I am trying to start a business, which I'll make a video about that eventually, I bet. But I'm not going to say much about it now. I feel like that is one of the main keys, is being able to exist in each other's silence. Mm -hmm. It's, we're often, I mean, we have three destinations here. We have our, our table, our couch, and our bed. So we're usually sharing where we're doing our activities. But we're not usually tripping over each other. Or really overlapping on each other. And I feel like that's... We have synchrony. 
feng shui. Mm. Would, would feng shui work here? I don't know. Feng shui. Feng shui, I guess. <laughs> it, I feel like it just takes the right kind of person to live in this small of a space with. We've even, we've had our, we've had our troubles. Don't worry. We'll get to that eventually. The TV. There is only room for one TV in this household. The problem is who gets the TV? We have shows that we watch together, like every couple, but there are still differences in our preferences. I used to be a YouTube girly. I used to only ever want to watch YouTube. And I think you changed me on that. Yeah, I grew up on a lot of live TV, so a lot of sitcoms, a lot of classic television. I did not. I did not. I don't think we ever had cable. I think that's why. We don't switch off at all. We don't like keep tabs on who has gotten the TV and who gets it next. It's more about who needs to like decompress more. Yeah. So when he first gets home, I feel like it's mostly his TV, and I, I love that. Because it, it kind of interrupts my way, my day in a good way. It interrupts my day in a good way. What about you? How do you feel when I'm always yanking the TV away? I mean, a few shows you have changed me on. We have been watching less Rick and Morty, which I can appreciate. Fights and arguments in a 27-foot trailer. Well, it's hard to avoid a fight when to get away from a situation, you have to walk outside. You have to sit there and stare at whatever the other person is doing and let everything stew and fester. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Everything festers a lot more. So you kind of have to be more direct. I feel like versus the apartment, we're a little bit more direct in our problems or if we have an issue, it gets brought up a lot more quickly <laughs> and it either gets solved or shut down, <laughs> which unfortunately... We have our things to work on, but every couple does, and every marriage does, and we're never going to stop working, so blah blah blah, sappy 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 stuff. Mm. But <laughs> that's what's important. Food is pretty nice because, I mean, when one person gets up, it's easy to have them grab whatever you want and yell at them halfway across <laughs> the camper if you think of something. You don't gotta worry about being quiet. We can be as loud as we want at any point in our existence here. We're able to yell at each other and holler at each other. Well, that's not what I was getting at, but... <laughs> I think it's brought us closer together. While it's pushed us apart in some ways, I think it's more about surviving the circumstances than it is surviving each other. Life has thrown a lot of toughies. As it goes. And it will. I think that's the end. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good end to me. I think you need a nap. Well, I think that is all we have for today. Hopefully we'll start seeing the hubby more often on the channel, but... I mean, my channel is mainly around living in a trailer or a tr living in a travel trailer. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching or laughed or s something. Maybe. Or subscribe. Or subscribe. I don't tell people su to subscribe, so you're the first to do well, that. that. That's your problem. I can tell them to subscribe. Okay. <laughs> he, guy, he told you guys. I'll see you next time. Please tell me if you have anything you want to see me say, do, whatever. Because I get bored. Because this one makes it so I don't have to do anything all day. Whoops. My bad. Yo, whoops. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Oh, gosh. Um, but... Enjoy your day, your evening, or your night, and I'll see you later.